the only uh, way forward in this war is to defeat Russians on the Ukrainian soil, which is still possible, not still, which is possible. And uh, if uh, all European countries will take a leadership position like, by the way, Boris Johnson took, I think uh, the end of this war will come soon. I may expect uh, September, October this year. Now to Ukraine. And the war in Ukraine has been raging for nearly 100 days. And while the outcome might not be clear, the narrative of the war has. Russia is very much concentrating its efforts on the east of the country after those embarrassing defeats in the western flank. And both sides are facing losses of equipment and, of course, personnel. And there has been a heavy, heavy death toll. Well, joining me now is Ukrainian MP Andre Od- Osadchuk. Um, Andre, thank you very much for, for joining us today. Welcome to the show. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me here. So, I mean, just when I read that out, that the war has been raging for nearly 100 days, that feels feels so shocking to, to us here sitting in, in London. How does it feel for you in Ukraine that this war has been going on for so long? So first of all, I think everyone in UK shall understand one simple thing, that the war, which was long time prepared by Vladimir Putin and Russians, which they started in February 24, was totally collapsed and totally lost by Russians. In fact, now we have a, another war which didn't have a break, but this war has absolutely different strategy, different tactics, and different objectives. Originally, we know that Putin was trying to take all Ukraine in uh, one week, in 10 days maximum. Now his ambition reduced a lot, but it's understood that uh, he needs at least some victory, and he's heavily fighting for to take control at least over four oblasts, as we call regions in the south of Ukraine. And uh, he's putting all his uh, resources for that. Literally all resources, because we see that uh, Russia, despite all the myths and all the rumors of this uh, uh, so-called second largest army in the world, has a big problems as with personnel, as with ammunition, as with uh, military equipment. For us, um, you know, uh, people, homo sapiens, are alive in this planet mostly because we are very adaptive. And uh, for sure, uh, the first shock uh, already passed uh, and... uh, we used to live uh, in the wartime conditions. So uh, air uh, strikes Syrians uh, in Kiev is something normal for us. For example, today we usually should have a city day in Kiev. But uh, I think already once or twice we had uh, uh, Syrians. Uh, and uh, that's, that's the part of our life. The good thing that people mobilized, uh, Ukraine is extremely united. And probably this is the good part of uh, this war that Ukraine never ever was united like now before. So uh, we are looking forward for our victory because we believe that Putin already lost this war. The only open question, and I'm repeating this uh, uh, opinion for last two months, the only open question, how long this war will take and how much we will pay. And the duration of this war is very much linked to the bravery of our uh, Western allies and their readiness uh, to invest to Ukrainian security with uh, weapons supply and resources. For the moment, we're moving more or less okay. Uh, everyone know that finally Ukraine start to receiving heavy weapons uh, from the West, mostly from the United Kingdom and the United States. Unfortunately, Germany and France are a little bit behind on this process, uh, but uh, we're moving well. And Andre, in terms of the comment you made about how do you think this conflict will end, do you think that Ukraine will have to concede any territory in order for this war to end or for there be for there to be a, a ceasefire and a resolution? Uh, this war is not about Ukraine. This war is about European Union and NATO. Russia hundreds of times uh, publicly said that they attack NATO. They attack European Union. And we all shall understand that the safety and security of European Union is directly linked to our respect to the fundamental rules. Borders of any country is not touchable. And there is no difference, uh, is it the border of Ukraine, United Kingdom, Lithuania, or Poland. All borders are equally important. So that's why Ukraine will never ever trade with this territory, not because we are so uh, insistent, because that's the only way how we may ensure peace and security in Europe in the future. 
So that's why the only uh, way forward in this war is to defeat Russians on the Ukrainian soil, which is still possible, not still, which is possible. And uh, if uh, all European countries will take a leadership position like, by the way, Boris Johnson took, I think uh, the end of this war will come soon. I may expect uh, September, October this year. Well, Andre, great to speak with you. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. That's Andre Osadchuk, who is a Ukrainian MP. 